Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells. It's Sunday, December 6th, 2020. A quick video this morning on the Mr. Heater Big Buddy right here that you see here. I did a video on this yesterday, talked about it a little bit. I compared it to the Mr. Heater Buddy uh, that I have, the smaller one. And so today I went ahead and put the 4D batteries that go in the back of this, and I'll show you that in a minute, in order to activate the fan that's in the front here that'll blow heat in whatever area you have this heater set up. So uh, let me show you where those batteries go. And I don't have it, but they make a 6-volt attachment that goes plugs into here. And if you did have power or you wanted to say I wanted to run it off my goal zero uh, battery, I could plug that in that six volt, plug it into the goal zero, plug it into here and still blow heat. Even if I didn't have a uh, regular, you know, household power, if the grid was down, uh, what have you. So that's um, something I'll probably get because that way I could save my batteries. I don't have to rely on the D batteries. Although I watched a few videos of people that have this, the D batteries in there, and they say they last uh, quite a long time. So, 4D batteries go in the back here. It tells you on the back here how they go in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so you shut this uh, latch, and so now they're in, and then there's a button here. I'll show you on the front that it's just a simple on-off button. I think you could hear it if I activate it. And so this is blowing air right now. Obviously, this isn't on, but it's blowing air here, so it will circulate the air. And you can hear that motor. Okay, so if I light this, Mr. Heater Big Buddy, uh, which I will do now. So let me come around this way and activate the pilot. There goes the pilot right here. I'll hold this down for a few seconds until the pilot stays um, lit. And then I'll move this over to low. And you'll see this activate. There it goes, it puffed out. And so this is on right now on the low setting. And so if I wanted to uh, say I'm in, I wanted to work out, I wanted the room to get up to heat, um, I wanted the room to get up to heat quicker. I would turn on the fan. Let's say I didn't have my electric heater, which I use normally. I'll use a electric Dyson heater that I have in here uh, that does a good job. I get up in the morning if it's cold, I turn it on and I let it run. And then later on, when I come in and work out, it's it's warm enough to work out. I, I end up shutting it most of the time when I work out anyway. Um, once I start getting, once I start sweating. All right, so this is on low, and just for the video's sake, I will put the heat of the blower on. And now I could feel that air, that warm air, coming off of the heater. I feel it out to here, you know, a couple feet away. Okay, so that's. One of the reasons why I purchased this, it has a lot of features on it, the dual tanks, the quick connect setup, which I'll show you later in the week when my other pieces come in, the three adjustable settings to give me 4,000, 9,000, 18,000 BTUs. Um, again, still portable, still easy to carry, take with you. A little too big, I think, for my van. That's why I have the little one. I use the little one in the van. But again, this could be used in a bigger room. If the grid was down and you needed heat. Again, this will heat your whole entire garage or room up to 450 square feet. So think about that. This week, I'll shut this off. Okay. It's shut off right now. <clears throat> and so that's the, the video on that. So that's basically how the fan works, the, the uh, D batteries. And the 6-volt uh, adapter, which I don't have yet, which I plan to get. So 
Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay ready. Just another update on the uh, Mr. Heater Big Buddy. Uh, I think it's a great investment, and I think that um, you know these things come winter time, which it is already, are going to be harder to get. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay ready.